Let me update you on my struggle with putting pump and reservoir in this uh, little case. As I remember, I wanted to have pump uh, in this area right here and put reservoir on top of it. But when I actually start doing this, uh, the problem became that uh, I can't really put holder anywhere because it's too big and uh, awkward looking. And uh, also inlet outlet between pump and reservoir get continuously misaligned. Um, I looked if I can use a Swift Tech one. Uh, and again, it has the same problem. Um, the whole ro routing um, look weird and uh, didn't really work for me. So I'm kind of get stuck and even look if I can put pump back in this area, which is, I totally didn't like. And eventually I come up with the decision that um, I need custom top and uh, luckily somebody is selling a version 1 EK top here uh, on one of the computer forums. So what I did is uh, I, I purchased it. Uh, wasn't the killer deal but still cheaper than new one. And um, basically I decided to use a custom top. Uh, which is, um, let me put any kind of fittings I want in any direction. I can inlet here, I can inlet there. So I look at, again, a few options, putting pump like this, put a plug in this area and have inlet from the side and outlet from the side. Um, kind of look neat, but again, didn't feel right for me. And um, so I come back to this vertical placement and this became a problem. Um, the, this width is too big for, for this section of the case. So I can't really put it. So again, start struggling again, moving cards back up and down. Didn't work out. Get a little bit frustrated, but in the end, um, I decided that I still can mount it if I use some sort of the bracket. So I look at different options, like use another bracket like this. And, um, and eventually I found the bracket from, from actually, this is SwiftTech uh, reservoir bracket. So you can, you can find something like this, not necessarily uh, <coughs> have the same part, but that's actually looked pretty good for me. First of all, this has this uh, long hole. So when I would like to screw it to the, to the pump, I can move pump a little bit like this and uh, the same holes allows me to put screws through the holes in the bracket here and I can I can I can basically fix it. So so basically I come up with the conclusion that uh, I'll put it on a bracket. Uh, actually this will go on a higher high slot. So put in a bracket, fix it with this bracket thingy, whatever you, you can come up with, uh, just a similar situation. And this will hold in my pump and it's look neat and nice. So the second problem still became what the hell I'm doing with the, with the reservoir. And um, so I decided uh, with uh, a little bit non-orthodox solution, but I think it will be fine because I'm not going to ship case anyway. It will be standing under the table for a while and uh, that's it. So I took this uh, male to male adapter. I'll I'll put it in in the custom top here for the top outlet or inlet I would say and I screw my reservoir to it. So top and bottom of the EK reservoir is a, is a acetal plastic which is pretty sturdy. It's, it's not like you acrylic glass which which is uh, easy to crack so I basically will skip bracket holding bracket all together and I'll keep my reservoir just um, connected through through this this male male adapter so it will be like this and uh, here will be my filling port this one of those I'll go to the CPU and um, outlet of the pump will go to radiator and from radiator to CPU. That's uh, my configuration. Also, if I if I would decide to go and cooling the card, 
Um, again, I still have enough options here to go to the card, cooling from the card here, where it's short run, and again, so it doesn't really change much, but it looks nice, and um, finally it fixed my problem with the uh, spacing in the case, and, uh, and good looking too, right? So, which is important for me at least. So I will start assembling, and uh, next step, um, I need to make decision on which um, CPU cooler I use and actually start uh, doing something with the motherboard because this is problem was finally fixed after a week of work. Alrighty, so come back with uh, further progress.